Hello everyone. A while back, Marcus House released a video where he challenged his viewers to reach a stable Kerbin orbit as fast as possible. And the basic rules for the challenge were to use stock parts, and to finish at an orbit that is within Kerbin's sphere of influence with a periapsis of at least 70 kilometers. The time measured for this challenge is from the in-game timer, and not real time since of course KSP tends to lag and stutter with high part counts. From this challenge he got a variety of entries ranging from several minutes to under a minute. Jonas achieved the fastest time of 43 seconds using a novel landing lake cannon approach to provide the final circularization impulse. Of course, Bradley Wistens also tried the challenge and managed to get an, a very impressive time to orbit of just 41 seconds. His approach took the more booster strategy to the max, subjecting poor Valentina to a spine-rending average acceleration of 16 Gs to achieve that time. Now, he technically missed the deadline for Marcus House's challenge, but was the fastest of all the entries and set the record for the fastest time to orbit since then. Now all these attempts are incredibly impressive and serve as the inspiration for my attempt, so I highly recommend you check them out yourself. So what am I doing here over two years late to this challenge? Well, I discovered some new tricks that could allow this to be done even faster, so let me show you what I came up with. Okay, as you might have expected, it's basically a big pile of boosters. But here's some specifics. It's got 43 mammoth engines, which I have used liberal part clipping to stuff them into the 18 side boosters. Each booster has a 3.75 meter fairing, which shields all the fuel tanks and engines to minimize drag. The central core and two of the side boosters have heat shields to protect them against aerodynamic heating. And these heat shields are attached and offset in such a way that tricks the game into thinking they are in line and thus counterintuitively produce very little drag. In total, the whole craft has a mass of about a thousand tons and has a part count of 390. The central fairing contains my new trick. We'll get to that later. All right, let's launch this monstrosity. Don't blink, this is going to go fast. Right off the bat, Valentina is subjected to a spine-crushing acceleration of 17 Gs. Within only 10 seconds of launch, the craft has burned through 6 of the 10 stages and over 200 tons of fuel. By the 22 second mark, all of the fuel has been burned, leaving Valentina with an upward velocity of 3.1 kilometers per second. Okay, now for my new trick. Inside that fairing are 248 decouplers, which are all attached to Valentina's command chair. As soon as we cross 70 kilometers, the decouplers are all fired at once. The combined ejection force of this mass of decouplers provides a staggering 3.8 kilometers per second of delta V, which immediately cancels her upward velocity and pushes her into a stable orbit. As you can see here, this impulse left her with a periapsis of just over 70 kilometers and an apoapsis of 685 kilometers. If we go back and check the in-game timer, we see that this stable orbit was achieved in just 33 seconds, 8 seconds faster than Bradley's attempt. For the sake of verification, here's a continuous shot of the full run with all the stuttering removed so that the video time is synced to the in-game timer. With the record set, all that's left is to return home. First I'll do an arrow break pass to reduce Valentina's orbit, and then set up a re-entry profile over the KSC. To re-enter safely, I'm going to use the EVA pack to manage my vertical speed and to help slow down. I need to do this or else Valentina will be thoroughly roasted by the aerodynamic heating. Once at a safe velocity, we can just pop the chutes and glide Valentina home.
And with that graceful landing on the VAB, the mission is now complete. Thank you so much for watching. I'd like to apologize for the very long pause in videos, and I appreciate your patience with me during this time. That said, I've got some more projects on the way which I'm very excited to show you soon. Alright, see y'all next time.